Hello, welcome. Thank you all so much for joining me here. My name is Charity and this message is for Leo. So in this reading, we're going to be looking at the energies of how the person who is on your mind is feeling about you right now. What they're thinking about you, what they like best about you in this connection, what they don't like as much, their hopes, fears, what's likely to happen, what they're likely to do next, and any advice Spirit has for you. For the main cards of the reading, I will be using the Mystical Manga Tarot by Rant and Barbara Moore. And if clarifiers are needed, the Fortune Telling Tarot deck by Yoshi Takamano. So let's get started. Spirit, what is the heart of the matter? What is the person connected to or coming towards Leo thinking about them right now? What are they thinking? What are they thinking about Leo? What are they feeling? What are they feeling in their heart space? What do they like best? Oh, way too many cards, but see if we can just get one. What do they like best about Leo and this connection with them? And what don't they like as much? What are their highest hopes? What are their highest hopes? And what are their deepest fears when it comes to this connection? Now we're going to get three cards for what's likely to happen, what they're likely to do next, and any advice Spirit has for you. I'm going to lay those cards face down over here, and we will look at them together at the end. Okay. Bottom of the deck, we have the Eight of Pentacles. Virgo energy could be significant, strong in your chart or your person's, but this really is somebody who wants to put in the time and energy, somebody who feels like there's something worth really exploring here, and they want to see what can happen. They want to see where this can go. What they're thinking, though, is the Five of Swords. So this is somebody who's going around in circles in their mind a little bit. They could be stressing. They could be overthinking. There could have been some sort of miscommunication between the two of you. Could have been some hurt feelings something like that. Somebody could have even gotten frustrated and taken a step away if there were just, you know, pointless miscommunications and things, you know, sometimes this card can be somebody wanting to win just for the sake of winning, you know, but it can be hurt feelings. It can be disappointment, but swords are thoughts. And with the five of swords, it really, it can even be like inner conflict, somebody going around in circles in their mind. But let's go ahead and get a clarifier and see why this person is feeling kind of frustrated and stressed about this situation. Spirit, why do we have the Five of Swords? Wow, we have the Death card clarifying that. And on the bottom of the deck, we have the Eight of Wands. Sagittarius energy could be significant, but my goodness, with the Death card clarifying, um, Scorpio for the Death card, um, with the Death card clarifying this Five of Swords, somebody, may have completely gotten quiet, walked away, taken a step away, or there could have been a miscommunication, you know, some sort of difficulty that is maybe making this person think maybe they've lost their chance or maybe they said the wrong thing. Maybe this isn't going to work. They might be wondering if you're upset with them, something like that. But with the eight of wands on the bottom of the deck, it's almost like whatever has happened, it's really made them, you know, want to talk this through, want to talk to you, want to pursue this, want to explore this, and want to move things forward. And yet here it is down on the bottom of the deck. So it's an energy that they're feeling. They're feeling like a sense of urgency about this. It's time to do something. It's time to move forward. It's time to take a stand. It's time to cross the distance, make something happen. But they haven't fully acted on that yet. And yet we have in their feeling space, in their heart space, the King of Wands. Beautiful match for Leo energy, um, Sagittarius specifically, Leo and Aries as well. But this is definitely the energy of somebody with what they're feeling in their heart being the king of wands. This is somebody that is interested in you, somebody who is attracted to you, somebody who definitely wants to take some initiative, make something happen, see where this can go. If they do feel like, you know, something's happened and maybe this is over, maybe they've lost their chance, it's almost like made them want to take more of a stand really to see what can happen because they really are just so very drawn to you. And, um, and what they like best about you is the Knight of Cups. So not only are they attracted to you and interested and wanting to take action, wanting to initiate something, um, they also have feelings for you. 
the Knight of Cups. I mean, this uh, more Scorpio energy could be significant, but this is somebody coming forward from the heart. This is, you know, this is genuine. This can be romantic. This can be somebody wanting, you know, to take you out, to get more serious, all that kind of energy. Now, this is what they like about you. So it really could be that regardless, you know, of the things that have happened. And like I said, this could be all in their head, whatever, because that's their thought space with that kind of challenging energy there. Um, but whatever it is, there are feelings here. And there's something that you've awakened in this person with the Knight of Cups being what they like about you. They like falling for you. They like having feelings for you. They like the way you make them feel. They like thinking about where this can go and what can happen and what next step they could take because the, it, the things that um, you awaken in them make them feel more deeply maybe than before and maybe that you know that's been part of the challenge maybe there were some deep feelings maybe there were challenges maybe somebody was maybe you know very sensitive in this like this person could have you know maybe read too much into something um because they're so sensitive here with the king uh, with the knight of cups because they're really you know having a lot of feelings and maybe even feeling vulnerable they could have read something the wrong way but um whatever that energy is it's it's not changed what they feel. And, you know, these are collective messages. So obviously you're all going through different things. You're all in different situations. Not every one of you is dealing with somebody where there's been like a miscommunication or some quiet or somebody worried about things being over. But that is the energy I'm reading here. But once again, um, this, because it is thoughts, this could be what somebody's thinking, but it might not be the case at all. They could be thinking that maybe you're upset or maybe, you know, that maybe they've done or said something wrong. They could be thinking maybe they've lost their opportunity, but there's a lot of feelings here. There is a lot of positive energy here and, um, and they do, I mean, they do have feelings for you, maybe more so than you even realize. Spirit, why do we have the Knight of Cups? Is what this person likes best about Leo page of wands yeah Leo Aries Sagittarius energy here with his page of wands but whatever the case has been and um and obviously you know everyone is dealing with different specific situations the energy here is that they have feelings for you they like talking to you they like hearing from you if you've communicated that you have some feelings you know regardless of whatever this personal challenge is or whatever is going on they like that they like talking to you they like falling for you they definitely like you know with a page of wands um talking to you and they absolutely, it's very clear, want to start something. And some people in certain situations may have even ended some sort of other past dramatic thing so that they could start something fresh and new with you. Because where you're, you know, where you're at, it's where this person's heart is. And they're definitely wanting to see what can happen here. What they don't like as much is the two of wands. Now, the two of wands is an energy of somebody who's planning, somebody who's wanting to do something, somebody who's wanting to take a step, feels like this could be a partnership, a friendship. You know, sometimes it can be very professional. Seems like they're definitely hoping for more intimacy if it is like a friendship or a professional thing or something like that. But the two of wands is somebody who's planning but hasn't necessarily left the safety, you know, of the castle yet to go out and fully explore things. It's clear they want to explore things. They want to see what can happen. They don't like being on the outside. They don't like being far from you and they don't like necessarily waiting. It's somebody who, you know, really does want to take some steps, move forward, do something. They don't want to sit and wait around for, you know, things to work themselves out. It seems very clear that they want to move forward. Yeah. Clarifying the two of wands. We have the ace of wands. A lot of attraction. Some of you could be having a lot of chemistry with someone. More of this fire energy. All the fire signs here. But it's very clear this person is interested. They want to take initiative. They want to say something. They want to do something. They want to start something. Now, for some of you, I do have to say, if you have, you know, ended or released something because of a lot of drama and stress, because it didn't make you happy, then your guides are absolutely bringing in something um, new because we've got an ace of wands an ace of cups a page a lot of new energy with someone who really is you know 
more um, kind of heart-centered here with the cups energy that we have. Um, but um, just had to say that with that death card sitting right here by an ace, it can be, you know, releasing past things and making way for new. But for me, it feels like the end of a stressful situation. If there's been frustration, if there's been miscommunication, it's clear somebody wants to talk to you. Somebody's got feelings for you. They want to step forward. They want to make it right if there has been some sort of challenge. And they want to, you know, they want to stop this up and it starts something up and it seems like they don't want to waste any time um they are interested they do want to communicate and they do want to really do something to show you how they feel because their highest hopes are the ace of cups scorpio cancer pisces energy here the ace of cups i love when it comes to a connection because it's somebody really for me who's open. They've opened up their heart. They're looking into their heart space. They're aware of what they're feeling. They're wanting to offer that cup. They're wanting to explore something. This can be a new beginning that leads to the 10 of cups, which is emotional fulfillment. They feel like there really could be something here and they do want to make it happen. Now, if there's been a painful ending or a quiet in a certain situation with this king of wands and the ace of cups, this can definitely be somebody who is wanting to restart something. Obviously, that's not where all of you are at, and I know that goes without saying, but I have to read the cards that are here. And um, and this can be somebody, you know, that is still very interested no matter what, and they're absolutely, you know, wanting to, wanting to explore this. But the Ace of Cups is somebody coming forward from a more open place, maybe a more vulnerable place, somebody who's ready to talk about what they're feeling. And, um, and it seems like there's a lot of passion and attraction, but it's very clear that there's a lot of feelings as well. And maybe you don't even know it, you know, if this is like an Ace of Cups, which somebody that ha has had feelings for you, but hasn't necessarily told you, they could definitely be wanting to, you know, um, express something for sure with the ace of cups being their highest hopes their deepest fears are the, are the star aquarius energy could be significant here but it's interesting because this the star is somebody who is rising after a challenging time after a difficult time and once again if there's been an ending a breakup a miscommunication somebody got quiet that sort of energy um, even if, you know, maybe there were hurt feelings, something happened, it really, I feel like it really shook this person up and it could have been like, honestly, just a wake up call to make them realize how much they, they really feel about you. Not every one of you is dealing with that, but this is somebody who has been through something challenging. Maybe they, maybe they recently went through a stressful breakup and now as they're starting with you, they're feeling kind of vulnerable. But the star comes after the tower, which means this is somebody rising as their true self after a challenging situation. And yet with this being in their fears energy, it's almost like they could be fearing that they're that they're not quite ready. This is an energy of, you know, somebody who has healed, somebody who's found themselves through the process, somebody who's ready to open up their heart, somebody who's maybe, you know, lost some things that were gave them a certain sense of security, but in that process, they found out, you know, who they are, how they feel, what they want to be, what they want to do. I mean, it's a it's a breakthrough energy and it's very powerful. And with a star, you know, it is somebody who's ready to open up more. With this being their fears energy, they could be fearing they're not quite there yet or you know there could be nerves around being vulnerable or really expressing who they truly are so now we're going to see what's likely to happen what they're likely to do next and any advice spirit has for you so what is likely to happen oh my goodness you guys have the lover's card gemini energy could be significant but it's clear some of you could be dealing with a strong strong connection um and some of you goes way back but some of you it could be very new I mean, I'm getting a lot of different energies here and it makes sense because I'm a channel and I channel the energies of the people I'm connected with, all the people that can, you know, hear my voice right now, no matter when you're listening to it, be it, you know, an hour from now or a year from now, I connect in with that energy. That's how I work and I'm getting a lot of different things, but... There are all these different kinds of challenges that people are facing in different aspects, 
but it's very clear it's all leading to one place, which is coming together with someone that you do feel a powerful connection with, somebody who recognizes your value, somebody who is ready to you know, show up from the heart and treat you the way they deserve. It's clear there's been a challenge, but I feel like it's only shown this person how much you mean to them, how they feel, how much they want you in their life. Um, I love this lover's energy because you have this beautiful, you know, representation of the divine forces at work. And I do believe that love is a divine force. And I do believe that it draws together people that are meant to meet people that are meant to come together. And I, I don't necessarily believe there's only one person for everybody in the world. Absolutely, you know, um, absolutely not. I believe there's so many possibilities, but I do believe that we attract and draw in the people that are, you know, on the same frequency, that maybe have had similar experiences, that are looking for someone like us, and we're looking for someone like them. And the universe is working on that and bringing us together. And when you come together in this energy, it's just, it clicks, it makes sense, it feels right nothing's perfect no one's perfect there's always going to be challenges in every connection but when you have a moment like this it's like you can take the challenging things and you can make the most of it and you can make the most of it together with this lover's energy it's very clear you could very much potentially come together with this very person that is on your mind now it is somebody you're interested in it is somebody that you really like we're not looking if we're looking at somebody where something's ended it's not somebody from the past that you're not interested in because what they like about you is the Knight of Cups, which is the energy of you having feelings for them and them having feelings for you. So it's somebody you're very interested in. You don't get the lover's energy if it's not. And this is coming together. And um, and for those of you that maybe have released something, you know, that didn't work and haven't met that new person, your guides are absolutely working on that because this is your energy. You don't get the lovers without something really positive that the universe is lining up for you. So what are they likely to do? Four of Cups. Okay, this is somebody who is hoping for an opportunity with you. Somebody that maybe was guarded in the past, somebody who maybe didn't, you know, fully express themselves or let you all the way in or let you know how deeply that they felt. It could be somebody that feels like they missed an opportunity with this Four of Cups. And it's like with the lover's energy sitting right here next to the Ace of Cups, next to the Four of Cups, I'm getting this feeling like there's been a realization, you're the person. And the next time the universe offers this Ace of Cups, which is them having this opportunity with you, um, they're not going to pass it up. They do not want to miss this. But let's go ahead and get a clarifier on that. Spirit, why do we have the, why do we have the four of cups? Why do we have the four of cups as what they are likely to do? Why do we have the four of cups? Wow. Okay. I had several cards. It was a little distracting. They kept starting to come out and then they go back into the deck. But because your guides were working on some very powerful, very specific cards. We have the Four of Cups, clarified by the Six of Cups and the Empress. Scorpio energy, Taurus and Libra could be significant. And if I didn't man mention Cancer in this Six of Cups, um, some of you, if you're dealing with a strong soul connection, some of you, if you resonate with a twin flame connection, something like that, um, it can definitely be re being reunited with somebody, especially if you're going through some sort of separation. I just have to say that, first of all, because for me, Six of Cups is re reunion, soul connection, somebody coming forward from the heart, somebody ready to be vulnerable, but somebody, sometimes somebody that goes way back, the Empress energy is the energy of the one. Whatever the case is, though, not everybody is dealing with that. Like I said, some of you are dealing with someone you just met or somebody you're interested in. Maybe somebody at work or the gym that you've got on your mind or maybe somebody that you have a connection with but you've had ups and downs. We're all in different places but, um, but regardless of all of that, with the Empress energy, this is somebody that may have missed an opportunity because they were guarded or maybe they're only just realizing now you know, how much you mean to them or who you are to them. But whatever the case is with the Empress sitting right here next to the lovers, this is somebody who's feeling like you could be the one, that there is unlimited potential here, that something could begin that really goes someplace. You know, it's, 
It's the recognition of the significance of um, someone and how much they mean to you. And for this to come up and what someone's likely to do with them having this feeling like you could be the empress energy for them, which is just the energy, regardless of gender and all of that. It's just the energy of the person that you could have something happen that maybe lasts like always. <laughs> I mean, that's the energy I get with emperor, empress lovers in a love reading. But um, whatever the case, this is somebody who's having a, who's having a realization that um that you could be the one i mean that's the energy there and with it sitting here with the six of cups for some this is somebody you know if there's been a miscommunication or if there's been quiet or something like that it's definitely somebody wanting to come together wanting to talk wanting to see you it can be somebody wanting to reunite if this is somebody new that you're just beginning to explore things with they do have this feeling with the six of cups like you are an opportunity they don't want to miss you are someone they want to be open to you are someone that they want to see where this can go with because there's something about this with the six of cups that feels like maybe you've, you've known each other forever even when you first meet like that's what i get with the six of cups energy it is somebody thinking very you know thoughtfully it can be somebody thinking very nostalgically about you it can be somebody thinking about all of the good times and absolutely wanting to see you or talk to you but the lovers the empress and the six of cups all being here clarifying this four of cups which is clearly somebody who maybe didn't open their heart from the beginning maybe wasn't ready or maybe even missed a chance they don't want that to happen they want to come together and they do feel like this could really like this could be it so what is your advice queen of wands oh my gosh perfect leo energy aries because queens are cardinal but it's fire um leo and sagittarius as well but when the energies show up for the person watching the reading, I don't see it so much necessarily as a sign, but as a match. You being your authentic self, being who you are, unapologetically you, just embracing who you are, being the magic that you are, the fire that you are, is attracting someone that recognizes that, that is interested in you, that wants to know you for who you are, and is up to it. It's like, sometimes I feel like with the Queen of Wands, because I'm a Queen of Wands energy, I'm an Aries, and um, and I've, I've got a lot of Leo sisters, best friends that are, that are Leos, a lot of Leo's of my life and, and um, but that that very dynamic energy and of course Sagittarius as well with all that fire I've had people in my life be like oh you're just too much you're too intense you know <laughs> um, and it's so funny because I met somebody that loves that intensity and has never once told me I'm too much and you will meet that person but with that energy of that queen of wands maybe there have been times in your life that people have told you you're too much you're too intense well, everything that you are and everything that makes you you, being all of that, and once again, unapologetically that, is going to attract someone who's not afraid of your fire, somebody who doesn't think that you're too much, someone who loves your passion, someone who loves your fire, someone who loves you for who you are. And that's the kind of person you want to, you want to have. You don't want to have to tone it down to make somebody more comfortable. You know, it's like you want somebody who's going to love you for you. All the passion, all the interest, all the quirkiness, because we're all unusual. Once you really get to know us, we're all unique, you know, but it's somebody who's going to like you for you and not ask you to be less than who you are and that is what you're attracting in and the only way to really find that is to be your full self so that is the message that I have for you I do hope that it resonates for whoever is meant to hear it like I said I was getting a lot of different specifics during um, this reading but I do feel like overall there's a bit it is a very cohesive message and um and it should meet you all, you know, wherever you're at. Of course, take what's yours, leave what's not for someone else who's meant to hear that. But if you like the reading, please put a like on it. If you haven't subscribed yet, I'd love if you would. And if something spoke to you and you'd like a personal reading, my website is charitygenice.com. I've got some options there. Also have a Patreon with um, bonus readings. If you would like to join me there, I am getting ready to put up today or tomorrow, probably tomorrow, the... Um, 
collective love reading for the full moon in Cancer we have coming up. So that'll be up on Patreon. Anyway, I love you all. Thank you each and every one of you. So glad for the chance to connect with you. And I will talk to you soon.